Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Um, the other day I was watching my friends Lee and Jeremy Massey at their premiere and Lee did a Dutch pour on a Quinac Brune burnt orange background that was absolutely amazing and beautiful. That was sort of inspired by <laughs> my gardener's sunburst pour and Molly's from Molly's Artistry sunburst pour. So it was really beautiful and I just, I love that background and I love that idea and I love what he did in the center with some gold cells. So we're gonna kind of play with that idea today. Let me show you my colors real quick. This first one is Quinacridone Burnt Orange from Golden and it is nice and thin, not leaving a mound at all. Now this is my leftover paints from the pour that I just did. I have just added a lot of water and to this I have added about a teaspoon or two of GAC 800 to help it thin out even more. So that's the Golden Squinacridone Burnt Orange. Uh, I'm not going to show you the consistency except for the last one. This one is Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with some Satin Enamels in Pure White. This is our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. This is Golden's Nickel Azo Gold. This one is Golden's Indian Hue Deep, Indian Yellow, excuse me. Um, and this last one is Amsterdam Greenish Blue. So they are all about this, thick, this consistency. Just tiniest of mounds and then sinking right away. So, okay, so move these over. We are going to be doing this on a 20 inch round convexo canvas. I am very excited about <laughs> Lee doesn't like round canvases. <laughs> He's like, don't do it on a round one. But sorry, Lee. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put down our base coat on the 20 inch round and then I'm going to do some rings and then we're going to blow it out with our leaf blower. Okay, so I'm going to pour this and then I'm going to tilt it out and then we're going to put down our color. Good. Spreading nice and easy. And I will put some more around the edges just to make sure that's moving lovely. Makes me glad I added that last bit of water. Okay, so when Lee did his pour, he noticed at the end of it that he maybe should have put a little bit thicker lines of color in a, sort of like a bullseye pattern. He used pretty thin lines of color around it. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna go around the edge one more time and let it slide off to make sure there's coverage on the sides and nothing's bare. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. And see, notice how it looks just slightly different? That's because of the flow troll. It'll come back to normal to itself. I mean, it's from the same cup. <laughs> it's not like it's different paint. <laughs> okay. Make sure that's all covered. That's good. And I don't want too much paint on here, so I'm happy that it's nice and thin gonna help our other colors move nicely and reduce blending, I think. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands off real quick and we're gonna use our cups. I am using these little five ounce Dixie cups on purpose so that I can pinch the tip and control how much comes out of there because I don't want a ton coming out. I wanna be able to control it. So, okay. Love it, almost had it. <laughs> okay, so let's start. I'm gonna put a tiny puddle of this in the center because I know it's gonna spread out and I want that there. Okay, now around this, I'm gonna first use some of our Indian yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to put some of the nickel azo gold around that and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. with some white, just a very thin layer of white around, I'm just gonna go around once. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna put some gold in there, 
around there. Okay, we're going to use our greenish blue. is over there making suggestive comments. <laughs> yeah, it's a rough crowd. I'm telling you. What do you expect? Okay. Alright, now the last thing he did, do you think I need a layer of blue? No. Okay, so the last thing he did that I thought was really brilliant was that puddle of that I poured in the middle of the quinacridone burnt orange. He took the gold and he poured some right in there, and then he took the burnt orange again and poured that in the middle of that. And so now what's gonna happen is we're gonna get all these really cool gold cells in the center. So I'm excited, this is cool. Do you think I need another layer of the blue? No? Do you think I need another layer around the edge? Can you get another layer of blue on the inside? Yeah, where like in here? Yeah. Or do you think that's not necessarily? I don't know if I want too much because I'm worried about it turning green if it's too close to the nickel as a gold. Okay. I'm just going to go around this edge one more time. Just to ensure that that edge gets covered because it is convex. Did I hear you correctly that you're going to unleash that? blower inside here don't worry you did hold my beer <laughs> <laughs> i don't like beer no. <laughs> an artist's famous last words i hadn't actually thought that would you like me to get you some sort of shield I, I, perhaps i might <laughs> Um, yeah, these are these these are replaced. Those are the new pants. There's no paint. Plants, on them. No paint. They replaced. Okay, the no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be gentle. We're not gonna go crazy. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> you want this plastic? All right, I'll be fine. You want to hold the painting up in front of you? That painting is a shield. Here, put that sideways. I won't get you. I promise. If you do that way. <laughs> Oh, no. Pointed right at me. <laughs> Don't worry, chill. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? As you wish. Okay, here we go. That's very cool. See, I didn't get you. Okay. 
<laughs> I love it. <laughs> that worked great. I'm very happy about that. I love all these little cells that are here on the edges and coming through over here. And I hope we start to get some cells in the middle. <laughs> but even if we don't get more cells in the middle, I think that that's really looking cool. I think maybe I need to blow one more over here because it seems like there's still a lot of paint right there. And this is the really nice thing about this blower versus a blow dryer is that this has a progressive trigger. So if I squeeze very gently, it goes really slow. If I squeeze harder, it goes faster. with it too much more. That looks great though. That's really cool. Let's torch it and see what happens if we get some of those cells popping up in the center. That looks really pretty though. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, see we're starting to get some cells in there. Which one is the torch? This one. do something to get some cells in the center or not really just leave it alone and let it just do its thing. nice to or some of the yellow in the center. Some of the yellow in the center and blow that out? Mm -hmm. Okay. What we can do, we can put a little bit of white in the middle. And we can put a little bit of this. Okay, just a little bit. Kind of looks more floral you now in the center, and I do see some cells coming up around there, which is good. Okay, that's cool. I could mess with this literally all day long, but I'm not going to. <laughs> do you think maybe I need to blow that one out just a bit more? So it's a little more even. really cool and now we're getting that beautiful center with the orange the nicolazo gold and the gold coming up all right let's stretch that one more time in the middle that's 
You know, there's only one thing that I want to do. Just a couple of little bands inspired by Fiona. Just drag these towards the center a little bit. I should probably have dragged them outward, huh? If you're gonna call it a band, <laughs> you gotta invoke the Lee. Invoke the Lee. <laughs> And the Jeremy. You know, you two are, I'm glad that you guys are so friendly with each other. It's awesome. Okay. I don't know. Did that make it worse or better? Better. Better. More better. I don't know. <laughs> but this is looking pretty cool. I love that there's the gold is coming up. I love that blue green on there. I love that you can see the Nicolazzo gold. I like that there's just a little bit. I'm glad we didn't put more. Maybe it actually needed some more blue in there too. But that's okay. I like this. I like how it's looking. I think it's kind of trippy. Remember, a lot of times those lines, AKA bands, end up drying really cool. Yeah. They look kind of funky now, but they could dry Let's really stick my cool. Finger in there. Let's soften it up a little bit. There you go. I like that better. Okay. All right. So this was really fun. Um, I think you guys will actually see this one dry at the end of this video. <laughs> that one blue cell right there. Okay, so I think this is gonna dry really, really cool, and uh, I'll see you in a minute when it's dry. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is a few days later now. This is the gemstone waterfall. Ooh, just got really dark. Uh, this is the gemstone waterfall that, uh, <laughs> the long journey it took to kind of get there, but this turned out really amazing, and I love these colors together, and I love what's happening with this like especially the center section here it's like a river I don't know I guess that might be the waterfall but this part that's so cool so it did take a while to get there to be able to open up these lines those little hot rod flames of HOAs but I really like what happened I think it's so pretty especially up in there these sections I love that burnt orange and the Nicolazzo is just amazing so this one turned out really, really cool. And we still did get some of those cloudy, poofy effects. I really do like this piece a lot. I'm very happy with it. It took a little bit longer to dry because it was a repour. Still might be a little tacky in the middle. I'm not touching it to find out though. <laughs> but I love this one. So this is this one dry. And let me go get the touch pour. Okay. So this was the 20 inch round that we blew out that was on the quinacridone burnt orange base coat and we had the gold and we had the Amsterdam blue green in there and some white and it turned out pretty cool I love what happened in the center we did end up getting a lot of cells I don't know I really liked this when I first poured it and then a couple of days after I wasn't really sure if I liked it now it kind of reminds me of like I don't know, those pieces of sun-dried oranges. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe I needed another ring of the blue a little bit more towards the center because there are some really amazing details in here. I mean, it did sell up beautifully. And like some of these lines are just gorgeous. So there are parts of this that I like and there's parts of it I'm not so crazy about. Um, I don't know. I think the center could have used something more contrasting and then I might have liked it a little bit better. But I do overall like what happened. I think that it, it was a really cool pour. 
I love this part right there. We did end up getting a lot of cells in the center. They're pretty gold cells with some orange behind them, which is kind of neat. The birds are singing, sun's shining, spring is coming. <laughs> I'm very excited about spring and excited to be able to pour outside again, even though I have enjoyed working inside the studio outside of the wind it has been rather nice. So this one is kind of neat. Um, thank you to Lee from Massey Art Studio for the color inspiration and idea. And I love his pour. If you guys haven't seen that one, go check it out. I will link it for you in the description box. But this was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. Sometimes an idea just grabs us and you got to go with it and do it. So it's really neat, though. There are some really beautiful details. Especially up here. I love that part. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. <laughs> seems like Gail is always here now. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here with us. Um, I had kind of hinted about some exciting stuff that was coming up. And, uh, you know, Fiona and I are going to be doing a collaboration next week, which is going to be so much fun. And uh, one or two more surprises up my sleeve that I can't quite tell you about yet, but very, very soon. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I will see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.